Hey, Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. Welcome again to Switzerland. Beautiful land, mountains, mist. It's winter time again. I mean, not, not exactly yet, but it feels like, like it. I'm in the hills here in a very beautiful location, uh, close to the lake of Geneva in the forest, enjoying the morning. Dynamic energy techniques here in the forest. Um, <coughs> something I want to tell you about uh, energy techniques and building up relationship with uh, nature, with the trees, with the environment around you, tapping into the infinite sources of life force that you have inside of you. It is, a, it is a very simple thing. It is that you have to look at it like a form of training, okay? Um, your mystical muscles and your energy muscles and your, your life force is something that you train. If you are lucky, you know, you might just go into doing a very simple uh, breathing technique. You know, for instance, you go <laughs> and as soon as you start, you know, breathing or activating or doing a movement or using a mantra or using a word or sound, you know, any energy technique that you use, you might already start feeling the activation uh, straight away. I mean, it's like you start lifting uh, something and you start feeling the muscles, right? You start feeling already an activation. So you have the experience that you will have on the moment. Um, but if you want to optimize your body and optimize your energy level and, uh, you know, fully go for, for the, the full potential that you can have on that level, what you have to do is um, establish these practices as something that you do frequently, that you do regularly. And the more you do it, of course, the, the stronger, the strongest, the stronger the experience of, uh, of bliss. It's, uh, you know, it's symbolical to, to have all these trees around me because I think that's exactly what it is. You know, you can see a tree like a line of life force. So look behind me, right? You have all these trees. So each tree is a line of life force. So imagine that your system and your body is a set of uh, nadis, right? Lines of energy, exactly like these trees. You have millions of, of nadis, of lines of energy, but you can also see yourself like a big pillar of, of energy. So there is already life force circulating in you, otherwise you would be dead, right? It's already happening. But if you want to activate it even more and speed up the process and optimize it, then you have to look at it like a form of, of training, exactly like you would go to the gym or go for a jog or, or take a shower every day, you know. It's, it, is, it is the fact that those energy techniques work better if you practice them frequently. And if you have just a one-time practice, that's okay as well, you know. It's not like it's not uh, good enough. But if you want to really come to a place where you experience bliss, where you have this sensation of unity with the planet, with humankind, with the cosmos, with yourself, feeling of harmony, then realize that it's, it's, a, it's a skill or it's a muscle, it's an energy that you can develop, practice and embody in very conscious ways through training it. Your energy system is, is something that you, can, that you can train through this energy technique. So look at other videos on my website, you know, and on uh, my YouTube channels, uh, channel. Uh, there is lots of ideas about that, but what I want to tell you, which is very important, is that don't just practice it once and then forget about it. You know, make it as a, as a habit. Uh, set it up in your life like something that, that is going to be there forever. And, um, <clears throat> you know, if you don't have the, the time or don't want to or don't want to put energy into that, that's fine for me as well, you know. <laughs> But it's like uh, I see people craving for, for power, craving for energy, craving for health, craving, craving for connection. Well, here is the solution. It's right here. It's in this very simple set of practices. And yes, when you want to establish some form of habit in your life, it takes a little bit of, of time and, and practice and education to do that. But it's a skill that, is, that will give you so much pleasure and fun and bliss and connection and happiness. I mean, I'm in a state of ecstatic trance right now, just after doing that for you know, a few minutes here in, in the forest. And yes, 
my energy muscles are already super active because I'm training that uh, a lot for you know for for many years but you know if you go to the to the village nearby you will notice that people are sitting in their houses you know having coffee maybe listening to the radio um, maybe checking their email they are locked into a, um, a protected space inside um, and uh, there is all this nature around there is all this possibility to access this life force and um, you know probably maybe one out of a hundred is um, <clears throat> is actually doing something um, actively uh, tapping into that potential so think about it you know this is just an open idea and, and proposition you want this life force you want to experience that then uh, go deeper than wishful thinking <laughs> you know uh, practice it and uh, if you do it a couple of times and then you start analyzing it and mentalizing everything and um, and uh, you know not really ac ac engaging into the practice then you are going to have a mental process where you're trying to analyze and and understand how it works mentally understanding the the process uh, doesn't mean that you are going to um, to experience it you know it's like you can have all the recipes of the the world if you don't s go to your kitchen and start preparing dishes then you're not going to develop the skills it's the same with absolutely everything in life you can mentalize you can analyze you can get books um, on the topic but at the end you still have to go and and practice it and the reason why it's it, it can be challenging to practice these kind of things is because as soon as you start tapping into there is energy coming in and uh, new fresh energy can feel uncomfortable for your system why does it feel uncomfortable or it can feel uncomfortable because you are creating space it's changing things it's changing your vibration and you let go of the old vibration and you establish a new vibration so there is a you know part of us that that is like the preserving aspect which wants to hold on what is what is old what is ancient what is what is there already so it's a natural preservation instinct but the moment you are tapping into this new fresh energy coming in then you tap into a renewal power a refreshing power transformative changing and also uh, can be also a destructive power because it's going to remove the old patterns that you no longer need so it's a very profound transformative experience can you see how it works That's it. Train your energy muscles. Do you get it? You understand? I'm sure you do. Lots of bliss from Switzerland. I love you very much. <laughs>